What is up fellas, Kyle here bringing you another Hockey Ultimate Team episode. In this episode I will be opening some Mega Packs, it's a new playoff pack they put out for the NHL playoffs. And there's these new like rare playoff cards, um, I'm going to see if I can get anything good. First pack here, nothing much, until you scroll to the end, I got a meal on Lucic, he's very slow. I don't know what I'm going to do with him, I might try to resell him, but that's the first pack, nothing much. Let's switch over to the second pack now. Alright, so second mega pack opening. Come on, let's see if we can get anything. Here we go. Oh, baby. I see 91. Ryan Miller. 91 overall goalie. Well, look at this. Damn, he has some pretty good. He's all even around the board in his attributes. That's a pretty good card. I've never had a Ryan Miller. I haven't had a good goalie yet. That's my first like 90 overall goalie. Right now, I have Halak. But I don't know what I'm going to do with Miller. Maybe later in the episode, we'll go in the market and see if we can uh, sell him. Um, yeah. That's Ryan Miller, the only thing in the pack, really. But, um, yeah, let's do one more pack. And third pack opening. Let's see if we can finish it off with a bang here. Let's see. Oh, I see a rare playoff card. Uh, another Petriangelo. 88 overall rare playoff card, Petriangelo. I already have a team of the year, Petriangelo. He's 93 overall. I tried to sell him. I could not sell him at all. But that's a pretty good card. At least I got him. I mean, so those are the rare playoff cards if you haven't seen them yet. They have like a little Stanley Cup thing and then the uh, the player's team. So that's actually pretty cool that we actually got one of those cards. And um, maybe he's rare in the market. Who knows? Maybe someone will buy him, hopefully. But now let's go over to the uh, trade pile and see what we can do with these players we've just picked up and some previous players. Let's, uh, let's try to make some profit here. So uh, let's switch over to that. All right, so after the cards we have just pulled in the packs, I'm going to see if I can resell any of these guys. Um, Miller, I was looking around the market. I think I'm going to put him up for around, I think he goes for around 50K. So I'm going to try starting price of 50K and then maybe a buy now. Or I'm going to start, I'm going to go a little cheaper, starting price of like 47 or something. And then just see if I can sell him. I'll go 47, and if not, I'll probably just keep him and use him. And a buy now of, let's go 52k, alright? For, um, 12 hours, seems good. And we'll check on that tomorrow. Alrighty. And now this Petriangelo. I have two of these now. I have one that's here that did not sell at all. And I have one that did not, that I have not tried to put up yet. I was researching. This, I saw some guy have it up for 100, some guy have it up for 170. I think I'm going to put my up for about, you know, 130, 140, since he's rare. He's not a big-name player, though, so he might not sell. Like, those big-name players sell. I don't think Petrangelo is going to sell. Either of these cards might not sell, so I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys if I can't get them to uh, go on the market. But this one, we will put up for starting price of, like, 135. See if he can go. He probably won't. Actually, we'll go a little lower. We'll go 130 because I don't think he's worth that much. Maybe he is because he's rare, but I am i don't know. I have two of these. It's so weird. We pulled that guy in the pack. I was like, ah, oh, him again. Not really like it's a bad card, but I uh, just wanted to see if I can get someone else. I'm going to go uh, 135 here. And boom. And 12 hours. All right. And now trying to resell him again. Ugh. Jeez, it's going to be a tough. What do I put him up for? I think I'm going to go to 180 now. Or, uh, yeah, I'll put him up for 180. All right, let's see if I can do the uh, glitch way of getting him up. Yeah, it worked. You just have to hold the left stick to the right, press select, like, or the help button, and then press B, let go, and it just goes up automatically. I'm not touching my controller right now. It's a pretty sick way. The NHL dealers told me about that, so thank you, Greg. All right. Uh, let's get this guy up to about... Let's go for one starting price like 175. That sounds sounds good. Ah, oh, almost, almost stopped it. All right, starting price 175. I'm going a little bit cheaper here just to see if these guys can sell it all. And by now 177 seems good. Boom. Oh, 12 hours. All right. So we put those three cards up. Um, we'll see if they sell by the next hockey ultimate team video. I'll let you know if these any of these guys sell. Or, uh, what do you think I should do with all these three cards? What do you think I should do with Miller? If he doesn't sell, should I try to put him up again? Or should I just, you know, try to play with him? Leave him on my team. Leave me that in the comments. Also, with these two Petriangelos, what should I do with both of them? Should I keep one? Should I keep both? What should I do with these two? Please let me know in the comments. I'm always open to advice. Thank you, guys, and have a good one, fellas.